What's the craziest or strangest thing you've ever experienced or witnessed at a funeral? Probably me and my brothers not realizing we were supposed to open my mom's ashes box and release them. So instead, we awkwardly dropped her entire box in the river like a bath bomb. You won't believe me, but someone's phone went off with the ringtone staying alive. My sister looked a lot like my grandmother. My grandmother had a style, heels, a cigarette holder, wig, dress, pearls. My father not always appropriate whispers in sister's ear. Why don't you go in her closet and come out dressed like your grandmother? Ten minutes later, we hear the click of the heels, the smell of a cigarette in a lawn holder, and a spot on imitation of her voice. My aunt, uncle, cousins all thought she was a ghost. The lady who convinced my mother to ditch chemo and use essential oils handed put biz cards at her funeral. My niece walking up to father's coffin and tweaking his nose. At my cousin's funeral, one of my relatives literally tried jumping in the casket with him. Really traumatizing experience, I might add. Not super inappropriate, but my grandfather was always a trickster. He had a great sense of humor. He had this little song he would sing to me, my siblings, and my little cousins, where he would just repeat the words poo poopy do over and over. At his funeral, my aunt was telling stories about him, and in the middle of her telling a story, my six-year-old cousin screamed poo poopy do in front of 50 people. Needless to say, it lightened the mood a little bit and made everyone a little happier remembering him in a good way. Someone trying to quietly open a can while they were doing the closing prayer. Not really at the funeral, but my neighbor put her husband's dog's ashes in his coffin, labeled Colonel's Medals. The dog got buried with full military honors at Arlington Cemetery. We took my fill ashes in a plane piloted by my bill. This was all illegal, but we did it. When my wife threw the ashes out of the front window, one, two of them ended up on my face. At my grandpa's funeral, my grandparents' friend tried to sign me up to sell Mary Kay under her while I was crying beside his grave. At the same funeral, the preacher giving the eulogy talked about whether or not my grandpa spanked his kids enough. He said daddy was a hard man, but was he hard enough? Did he spare the rod too many times? And then mentioned my dad and his sisters by name and said they should ask themselves that question when they think of their dad. We were all like, WTF. My mother switched her wedding ring with my dad's ring while he was in the casket. My mom really wanted me to squeeze the word fuck into her eulogy. I ended it with, I'd like everyone to know there is one specific word I haven't said yet, that she wanted to be said in her eulogy. Only I'd be capable of getting away with saying this. Fuck cancer. The funeral home erupted in over 200 people applauding that statement. I miss my mom, man. At the funeral of my great aunt Aline pronounced Al Ain, apparently nobody thought to tell the guy delivering the service how to, you know, actually pronounce her name. He kept saying it Eileen. So we started giggling. Every cousin, every grandniece and nephew, her brother. We couldn't stop. We weren't crying because of the beauty of the service. Ah. And we were crying trying to hold in the laughter. At my husband's funeral, they were folding the flag over his casket, and one of the guys were bragging about how good he was, never dropped a flag, and always perfect creases on and on. As the corners came together, he caught it on the casket, ripped the flag, it hit the ground. Someone behind me said, that was the XXX husband's name, telling you to humble yourself because we are all tired of hearing how perfect you are. Everyone looked at me, and I just smiled, because that was my husband to a T. The female relative who came to the visitation straight off of a day on the lake wearing her bikini top, Jean shorts, and flip-flops. At my mom's funeral, which my dad only agreed to because her sisters were being assholes about my agnostic mother not having a proper funeral, one of them walked up to me 
and said, aren't you so sad you never had kids and gave your mom a grandbaby? Had to bite my tongue to keep from saying yes so sad my stillborn daughter and eight miscarriages didn't give mom a grandchild. At an open casket wake, a friend of the deceased attempted to give her a drink of single malt whiskey. She ended up being forcibly removed as she wouldn't stop and spilled a lot of the alcohol in the casket. It was as horrible and inappropriate as it was heartbreaking for everyone. Back in the 70s, my grandpa used to entertain the neighborhood kids by burying Twinkies in the ground and saying, let's grow a Twinkie plant dot. At his funeral, all of us were given handfuls of Twinkies to throw into the hole with him. Also, I had a friend who worked part-time at a cemetery. He said it's surprisingly common for pallbearers to drop the casket and or slip in the hole. At my ex Phil's funeral, the preacher who had known them both for years started going into how difficult it was for him to have lived with my late Mill, as she could be a contrary woman. My brother committed suicide. At his funeral we had a receiving line so people can say their condolences to his widow and family. Some old guy who may have been an acquaintance of my dad walked up to my brother's wife and just said, So how did he do it? Some bitch who had never even met the deceased her boyfriend's former boss couldn't stop bawling when literally not even the family was crying. And that bitch was me. Not super peculiar or strange, but my stomach growled so loud during my grandpa's funeral, during the final prayer, that the Karen next to me gave me a disgusted look with her wrinkly sour puss. Super embarrassing but makes me laugh now. Pretty sure grandpa would have laughed too lol. I saw a woman lean over the open casket and take a top-down photo. It was just weird to my mom and I. We had never seen anyone take photos of the deceased. Several giggling ladies singing. Spam. Spam. Spam from Monty Python just under their breath when the pastor got boring. Several pews were laughing. It was a song the deceased would sometimes sing. It was funny. My cousin passed away some years back. He was blind and had a ton of friends, many also blind. When we sung the hymns, the guide dogs present howled, bayed along. It was so beautiful. At the wake, I also saw a guide dog Vieri carefully eat a sausage roll off the table right in front of his blind owner. I laughed and the dog whipped his head around to look at me, like, oh shit, you can see me?